Hey guys, this is Ant's Fascination. So, I was out in the forest, and I found an old beer can, alright? I was out there looking for queens, so I picked up the beer can to look under it for maybe a small nest, maybe a uh, claustral chamber, when a swarm of Aphiona gastrofolva poured out of the can. I found that there was an entire nest of Aphiona gastrofolva inside of the can, so I put it in the bucket that I brought with me just in case and went back home and realized that I don't have a formicarium to house them in. And uh, this is a very unique species and I really wanted to keep them. And so I began to think of ideas. And then I had one. I have this old roll of cork with a sticky adhesive on one side and an old picture frame that I decided to use the glass out of to use as a viewing window for the ants. Just a top cover, really. So I drew out the design I wanted on a single piece of cork. The design that I wanted for the formicarium, what their tunnels and what their chambers are going to look like. So I did that, and I began to cut it out. Trying to make sure I cut it out all in one piece. And then I layered it on another sheet of cork. And then I begin to trace out that design on the other one to make it a little bit thicker. So here I tried it a little bit differently. I decided to take off the backing of one sheet of cork and then placing my design on that, but that didn't really turn out very well because, well, the scissors just kept sticking to the cork and it was very difficult. So I, I had to finish up with that, which took a while, but then after that I was pretty much set, I can just go back to normal. I begin trimming the edges of the nest because using the scissors they can't really get to the very edge of the cork because of the thickness of the metal so I had to trim that off which is fairly difficult but I got the job done so it's all good. In the end, there were three layers of cork in the middle and one piece of cork for the base. And I cut out another piece of cork just to put over top of the nest, just so they don't have to be exposed to light all the time. I was going to add two little hydration chambers, one on each side, but I decided not to because those cotton balls are just going to gather up mold and I'm not going to be able to replace them. So I just took them out and put little holes on each side of the nest, that way I can just squirt in a little bit of water every once in a while. Later, I just plugged up the holes with a little bit of cotton, which can easily be replaced. 
I put double sided tape all around the glass except for the entrance area and the hydration areas. And it's really thin double sided tape as well so no, no species of ant is going to be able to get in between even if they're able to chew through it. And that's basically the whole nest. I just later hot glued a tube to the entrance and then I put that into a ice cream bucket which I used as the outworld because that's, well that's all I have really. So here's a little bit of footage of them moving into the nest. Here is some footage, some 4K footage, of the Epionogaster Limitans inside of their new nest, and they seem to really enjoy it. So that's pretty much the end of the video, um, let me know what you thought about it in the comments, leave some suggestions down there if you want to see me try to find like other materials to try to make, an, try to make a formicarium out of maybe, or like, I don't know, just anything. So thanks for watching, um, do stuff like, yeah, whatever, um, so I guess I'll see you next video and in a week or two. So yeah, see ya.